Hello friends, if you've been following me for a while, you might have known that I've been trying to learn how to fly an FPV drone for the past few months. You wear the goggles over your head and your eyes and you can basically see what the drone is seeing. I have been having a lot of fun learning and crashing, a lot of crashing, and that's the point of today's video. I've actually crashed it so bad to the point where this thing, which is called the flight controller and the ESC electronic speed controllers, short-circuited and blew up. Every time I try to plug it in, it shoots sparks and we don't want that, that is bad. After asking a few friends around, um, pretty much deemed it's dead. So I could have just gone online and bought a replacement FC and ESC stack, but I did what every normal uh, YouTuber and content creator would do. Go and make a video and complain about it. I made a TikTok video and it basically summarizes exactly what happened in the crash. And this page on TikTok called Beagle Drones actually saw my post. They're a pretty big drone page and apparently I didn't even know this until they contacted me, but they make drones and they make drones for beginners. And so what they did was they were kind enough to comment on my post and actually set up a FaceTime call with me. So I got to talk to the head of marketing and the CEO, which is Dwight and Kyle. So shout out to those guys because I hopped on a FaceTime call with them. And basically what they did was they were kind enough to actually send me a, where is it? This, they sent me a replacement FC ESC prototype that they've actually been working on for one of their products. This is technically one of my very first product sponsorships ever. So shout out to Beagle Drones. I, I, I don't have a code to give out, but you know, you can follow them on TikTok. They're pretty cool. They post great content. So the reason I'm making this video is not to strictly flex on you guys on my new product sponsorship. This is actually the very first time I am going to be assembling and soldering this ESC FC stack by myself. I have never actually programmed this thing alone. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. So let's get to it. Whoa, cool. Hey, kindly gifted by Beagle Drones. Beta version of their new flight controller, electronic speed controller. This stack does not sit on the drone the same way as this one does. So we have to get a little bit creative about how we're going to mount it. This is a fun part, right? Just figuring it out on our own, learning as we go. If you look at your flight controller, you'll probably see a little arrow. That arrow points to the forward direction. Oh, okay. This one is on the right. It doesn't really matter at this point which wire goes to which uh, thing, right? As long as it's on the same three. Yeah, because you're going to change motor directions in uh, beta flight. All right. Not in beta flight. In the yellow heli. Okay. Say hi to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Oh, wait. Let me turn it around. <laughs> hey, uh, it's the boy. Hold on. I think it's recording. So how do you two? Oh, hi! <laughs> you know what you're doing, right? I think so. Do you think so? Yeah, I mean, I won't <laughs> know until it works. But what if it doesn't? Is it doable to, like, take it out and, like, redo it again? There, there are some, yeah, definitely. No, blow yourself up. I think we've got the solder job done. It's done, it's not good. But as long as there aren't any solder touching each other and causing a short circuit, then I think we should be fine. It's a very pretty flight controller. I like the black and gold. There are some things that don't match exactly how this works. And that's where the process of triangulation comes along, which is where you basically take what you already know and you reference what you have with research online. Because everything's online. If you just know the right keywords to search online, then you can always find your answer. If you ever get into this, it might seem intimidating at first, but through the process of trial and error and doing, you're gonna learn what works, what doesn't work. And as long as you learn the big no-nos, then I feel like failure is completely okay. It's part of the game. The more you fail, the more you will learn and you'll just continue to level up. So yeah, I highly encourage it for anybody who wants to try it because it's very much worth it. It is very fun. Okay, I think we've done it. I think. We have soldered everything into place. I have no idea if I did it correctly. I haven't turned it on yet. I'm extremely scared to turn it on because I don't have a way to test it. And if it's wrong, it might fry everything and all of this work will have been for nothing. What I can do is at least test the flight controller by plugging into my computer. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's plug it into beta flight and pray that it works. Okay, whoa, it's blinking. It's connecting. It's, we've got a blue light. Failed to open, okay, so um, 
Alright guys, so it's getting pretty late and uh, I don't really have the correct tools to make sure that I'm this thing works properly without blowing it up. So I'm just gonna stop it here for tonight. We're gonna continue going. Tomorrow I'm actually going to drop this off at my friend John's house who is way more experienced than me. He's gonna consult the drone um, and yeah, I'll let him test it out before I try anything rash. Uh, anyway, enough of my whole rant. We're gonna continue this journey. Let's fast forward to tomorrow. Okay, so we are here. Um, I'm gonna drop off drone to John, my good friend, who is going to help me verify that this thing is not going to blow up when I plug a battery into it. So John is probably sleeping. <laughs> um, we just left it outside. He'll pick it up and we'll check back in another day or so. Yeah, yeah. All right, so John has returned the drone and it looks absolutely fantastic. But before I show you, all of it put together there's one thing we have to do left um just gotta check if the receiver is still bound to the transmitter oh it's still bound with the help of ben and john skyla is back to life this should work when i take off um, if i do end up having to crash somewhere on that side of the backyard it's just trees and soft targets so worst case scenario i break glass Best case scenario is we don't crash into anything. Rebirth Skyla's maiden flight. Here we go. All right, we'll take it easy first. And here we go. Nice. Easy money. Just going around the house a little bit. Oh, wait, it's on auto level. Let's change that. No, no, it's not. It's on auto level. Why is it on auto level? So it's not in the right flying style I'm used to. Uh, anyway, let's just try it a little bit. Take it for a little spin. And then after this, we can uh, get it back to where we need. <laughs> All right, easy, nice and simple. Come on. Oh, dang it. Uh, I'll go hop the fence. Uh, welcome to about 50% of the process. Okay, well, good news, it works. Everything's flying. Uh, the flight controller is balanced and yeah, everything is pretty much almost perfect. Only two things is I need to reprogram something in the on-screen display so that I can see how much battery I have left. And my controller is auto leveling, even though I programmed it to be an acro mode, which means that instead of always leveling itself like it does, this is an acro mode drone. So it should, it should stay in that direction. And that allows me to do tricks. Okay, so it's the next day and we are currently at the park and I did fix the problems that we were having yesterday. My uh, flight mode that I usually like to use was not calibrated. Just take a last look to make sure no one is around, no sus looking people night. I won't go too crazy because I just need to get used to flying again. Ooh. Okay, we are good. Nice. What's up y'all? Kai from Vertigo Vision. Coming at you with another drone video. All right, here we go. Low altitude. Whew, this feels good to be back. We've got a group of people over there. We don't want them to get hurt, so we'll fly further away. Yes. This is definitely better than the last time I flew at the park, if you guys remember that. my friends so the last time i broke this freaking thing in the first place was because i tried to do a power loop and the propeller blew up and i basically broke the drone trying to do a power loop so this is the redemption flight i'm going to hit that power loop no matter what it takes with this new quad are you guys ready because i am i think practice small ones first Woo right, that felt pretty good, but I don't know if it worked. Woo! Alright, no, nope. That was not a complete loop. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh my goodness, that's high. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, that feels pretty good. Alright, let's bring her home. On the table, please. Woohoo! Nice. Alright, you guys, I would call that a mission success. We have fixed Skyla, thanks to the help of my friends at YouTube, and constant persistence. It takes a while to get the hang of everything. Um, there are so many different components and each part does its thing, but at the same time, if you can continue to just persist and ask the right questions. So yeah, I hope this look into learning FPV was helpful for you guys. Kind of see what it's like, as long as you continue being curious and trying things out and really wanting to get this thing in the air, you will get it in the air. And when it does, it is so satisfying, let me tell you. So yeah, shout out to everybody who's helped so far and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.